Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So today we got a little Stellar Lumens XLM news today. Uh, crypto markets bloodbath and some mining rig updates. Stay tuned. Okay, so before we go on, guys, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon below. I got something going on called Bitcoin Fridays where every Friday I give away Bitcoin. So that's something you don't want to miss, all right? So real quick, before we go on, subscribe, hit that notification icon, so you'll be notified when you can enter to win. All right, guys, let's heck, head to the uh, news. All right, so let's head over here, check out the latest news on Stellar Lumens. Stellar progress, big things stirring while flying under the radar. Um, Stellar has been flying under the radar lately and has left many of its investors wondering what the team behind the project has been up to. Well, the project just released its May Stellar Roundup. It's June. That means the monthly Stellar Roundup meet for May has arrived. You can read it on our website and it goes over where you can go check it out. Um, while there weren't any new major partnerships that were announced, Stellar did give a list of their upcoming appearances around the globe. The team will be represented all around the world at various conferences, including the Blockchain for Finance Conference in Singapore on June 20th and the World Finance Forum in Beijing on June 30th. The 7 Stellar Build Challenge was announced a few weeks ago and is still going on. Um, here's the what's interested me, new projects on Stellar. The Stellar team announced new projects that were launched on the Stellar platform. The list includes REM Loyalty, Switch, Tillbilly, Flip and Pick, Crosshedge, I guess that's S Viper, SIDS, Local X Pose, and P Pedity. Uh, the projects that stood out from the pack were Tillbilly and SIDS. I like the Tillbilly. Uh, Tillbilly is, dig is a digital payment network based on the Stellar network. Uh, it allows its customers to make contactless payments and they receive automatic digital receipts, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, tax invoices, that comes in handy when you are doing taxes at the end of the year. Its customers are also able to collect loyalty reward points minus the price volatility of similar platforms. So you can kind of get uh, reward points like you would with... Um, you know, Visa card or something like that, which is kind of cool as well. Uh, SIDS currently has patent pending technology that allows users with a smartphone to exchange internet phone data for Stellar based SID tokens. Those without big data plans can earn SID tokens by watching advertisements, advertisements and can trade them in for crowdsourced internet. Um, at least around where I'm at, I don't know too many people that would use that, but I guess they would. Um, XLM Stellar Lumens price summary. At press time, XLM is trading at 0.243 a coin, down 7% in the last 24 hours. Of course, that is because of the crypto market bloodbath we have going on right now. Um, Bitcoin 6,700. Ethereum 5. Ethereum just over 500, um, and there's Stellar, 24 cents a coin. It's a pretty bad, uh, pretty bad day on the market, at least the past 24, 36 hours. Um, if you ask me personally, I think it's going to go lower than it is now. To be honest with you, I think we're just my opinion. Don't take this to the uh, bank or anything, but I think we're going to go down into the 5,000 range, but that's just me. Well, hopefully it doesn't, but uh, we'll see. All right, let's get into the rigs. My, uh, let's go to the data sheet here. So I did start mining Ethereum, not Ethereum, um, Electronium again. So I'm up to 438 coins this week. And I'm also mining Ethereum and converting that to Bitcoin. I've done about $19.22 so far of that. $6.97 worth of Electronium mine. So one thing that's odd on Mining Pool Hub, see here's a 494 Electronium. 
it will never show up on the exchange or auto exchange wallets. But it's probably because I don't have that set up for if you click on auto exchange. I've got that shut off. There it is right here. So that's probably why it's not showing up. But I thought it would would at least show up there um, just to show you that it's mining, what it's what it's been mining. Anyways, it will um, show up with unconfirmed transactions in there on a normal wallet part. But it's not paying out to my um, Electronium wallet. But of course, I think it's because of issues with their network again. If you click on Electronium, go to Dashboard. It's showing I have an effective hash rate of 2.13 kilohash. And there's what I've done the past, you know, four days. I was mining, like I said uh, in the last video, um, because it wasn't showing up. I was mining um, nice hash for a little bit, maybe maybe 24 hours, if that. Then I went back over to um, Electronium. So I'm going to stay on that for a while. It's pretty cheap right now. I think Electronium's 15 cents a coin. Not 15 cents. 1.5 cents a coin, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, yeah, I think I got it in my little spreadsheet. Stellar Lumens. Where are we at? Uh, not Stellar Lumens. Electronia. 0 0.0159 it's sitting at right now. So I'm going to mine... Maybe get a couple thousand coins here. What to mine was saying, I should be able to pick up um, four, four to five thousand coins a month uh, in Electronium. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm sitting at 1,355 right now. Um, you can see my total value mine went down um, about $45 thanks to that nice little uh, crypto market bloodbath dip it took. Uh, simple mining sitting at 119.3 mega hash still. This one card right here, 100% fan, 67 degrees. I think that's my hurt card that I've had all along. None of those cards are really close. Shouldn't be any reason why it's running at 100%, but it is. Uh, my NVIDIA rig, this is the one that's mining Electronium right now. Um, Let's check out the hash rate, if it'll do it. 1,631 total hash rate, and that's mining with the uh, three GPUs and the CPU. CPU right here is anywhere from 99 to 193 to 115 hashes a second. Uh, results, 205 of 205 accepted, 100%, no errors. So everything's running uh, good on that. I actually just rebooted this a little while ago. It's kind of hanging up a little bit. But cards are running good. That 1070 is running 59, 60 degrees at only um, 56 fan speed on that. So that's one thing you're good about this Monero Kryptonite V7. Uh, not Monero, it's Kryptonite V7. Um, it's real easy on your cards. So it's another reason I like doing that um, algorithm. So anyways, guys, um, I guess that's going to be it for today. If you guys have any questions or comments, just put them down below in the comments section. I'll get back to you. Uh, again, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell icon for um, future updates and to be notified when the Enter to Win Bitcoin Fridays um, video comes out. Okay, guys, I will see you all tomorrow. Take care. Bye.